Welcome to Silver Bar Stacker, folks. I hope everybody's doing well. I was just uh, sitting back and relaxing and watching some Salivate Metal, and I was watching over one of his videos that he had just uploaded pretty recently, and uh, I had kind of just gotten inspired by a topic, um, and I started thinking about, you know, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of channels out there lately have just been pushing the idea of oh stack cash stack cash even my business partner for quite a while I mean for the past at least a year or so um, you know kind of foresaw all of this recession coming and we made a lot of moves uh, in preparation for that and he's been harping about the fact about stack cash stack cash for a while and you know we're, we're the type of people um, who are kind of like your typical stacker who's typically just kind of like screw you SD you know the less, the better, right? The more metals, the better. The less cash, the, the better. But that kind of circumstance changes from time to time, depending on the situation. Uh, and, you know, certain at certain points in time, maybe stacking cash might be a better idea for whatever reason. And, you know, if you're the type of person who knows how to time the market and, and that whole thing, that's a whole separate issue. You know, if you're like a big time trader or something like that, you know, maybe you know when to enter a certain currency and exit another currency. But uh, when I'm talking about just purely stacking cash, uh, I started to think about, well, how much, right? And especially when you are somebody who is like most of the people who are watching, when you're kind of a stacker, and a lot of us are kind of pure stackers, uh, when you have that stacker mentality, well then, it's almost contradictory sometimes to stack cash, especially uh, stack an excess amount of cash, and because stacking cash is kind of counterintuitive to preserving value. Right, and so uh, when you're trying to preserve value, you really need to be mindful about how much stack, how much cash it is that you're stacking, right? And that is something that's subjective and also relative, based off of person to person, uh, not not just based off of risk tolerance, but also based off of personal situation, personal financial situation, uh, support situation, and really what it comes down to, in my opinion right and this is just my opinion is there are essentials in life right that need to be accounted for uh, and the more uh, reasonable you are with those requirements in life uh, the more value you will be able to preserve right and so these the, the requirements that I always harp on are roof over your head food on the table bills paid so those are your three essentials right and so if those three things are taken care of uh, and if you're stingy, right, you can take care of those things as, as cheaply as possible, right? That's what a pure stacker would do, right? And once you've kind of reduced all of your liabilities and eliminated all of that excess, right, outside of those three requirements, roof overhead, food on table, bills paid, right? That means no debt, right? <laughs> Eliminating debt is for a lot of people have, or most people are dealing with debt, right? And so some there's there's different kinds of debt right and so sometimes there's a lot of debt that's tied into some of those three essentials right you might have a roof overhead and you might have some debt tied to that right and so sometimes that's in in some eyes depends on your personal situation and how you approach life sometimes that kind of debt might be tolerable to a certain limit but uh, essentially as long as you have those three things taken care of then you know how much more cash do you really need to stack on top of that you know i see people just stacking thousands and thousands of dollars of cash like oh yeah stack is stack cash to the moon really stack cash to the moon okay i didn't i didn't go out to the atm and just get a bunch of cash just for the purposes of, of this video and i don't normally just sit on mounds and mounds of cash like this i don't this is not how i generally preserve value this is how i 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 preserve value these things are how i preserve value and i preserve value in a number of different ways i have my fractional prepped i have my fractional gold prep i got my bulk bars 
prep that I'm a, less, a little bit less attached to where if in a pinch I need to get rid of them, I can get rid of them. And so, you know, these in, in a sense are kind of maybe like my generics, right? Or my bulk bars where if I need to liquidate quickly, I could just do it if I really needed to, right? Uh, but better than this would be something even uh, more generic per perhaps, right? Something that you might be even less attached to. But everything in the stack serves a purpose and every uh, piece is there to preserve value in a sense. Part of it is to preserve value. Sometimes part of it is just to make me happy, right? Because I look at it and it makes me happy. Um, but I'm not interested personally in stacking mounds and mounds of cash for no reason, right? Sometimes it might happen to come on my doorstep for whatever reason, and then I might take that and then I might repurpose that and put it into something else that I think is gonna preserve value a little bit more because I don't personally trust these numbers that are written here. I don't trust the numbers here. I trust when I put this on my Sigma uh, and it verifies it as pure, I trust that. I trust the purity of this uh, brick right here but I don't necessarily trust these numbers here because these numbers are constantly manipulated. There's Sometimes there's a million of these, but sometimes there's a billion of these being circulated and printed. And so this is not something that you could really trust because you don't really, there's multiple people whose dirty hands are stuck in there, right? And so when, and then when it comes down to a stock, right? Well, there's a stock that you might own, right? If you own the company and you own that company stock and you control that company, that's maybe a little bit different. But if you're just somebody who's buying, selling, trading stocks, right? Or buying paper, paper shares of, of these hard assets, well, yeah, it might work for a little bit. And then at some point, somebody might, you know, because it's not fully in your control. So at some point, those paper shares might be manipulated in some sense. The company might just go under and the shares are sold before you even have a chance. Maybe after hours uh, trading, people screw you over. There's like so many things that are out of your control there. Maybe the website is, maybe the exchange is down. Like all those crypto exchanges always go down when it's the most opportune time to buy or sell. So, and, and that could be technical issues or that could be, manipulation and so the less manipulation that's possible in my opinion that's where i like to store my value and so certain stuff might be a little bit less liquid uh, and other stuff might be very liquid but uh at the end of the day to me that's a great preservation of value and there's a limit to how much cash i would personally stack i don't just say oh i need to reach a million dollars or i need to just you know stack a, a, a amount of cash that reaches the ceiling uh, or I need to fill a whole briefcase or I need to fill a whole safe full of cash no I'm not reaching some end goal of cash I'm trying to reach financial freedom and that is not a certain amount of cash I'm not trying to stack cash I'm not trying to trade currencies I'm trying to preserve value right and uh, I'm trying to take care of my basic necessities and the more stingy I am with taking care of my basic necessities, those three things that I mentioned, roof overhead, food on table, and bills paid, you know, if you can get solar, right? You don't get solar, you might get solar because you care about the environment or something, but most people get solar because they want to save money. But it's not about saving these. It's about offsetting your liabilities, right? And so your bills are one of those three essentials, right? And so if your electric or gas bill is somehow tied into solar well that's offsetting that liability right if your house is paid off that has completely offset one of your three liabilities outside of the taxes that you have to pay and so that's why some people don't even aren't even interested in owning a house because you're always a slave there right um, some people get more gratification out of just renting all the time and that just makes way more financial sense out here you know maybe you could you rent rent a place for like two grand, but then your mortgage might be uh, six grand or something like ridiculous like that. Uh, you never know, like costs add up and it's just, that's just, everybody has their own situation, but ultimately everybody has those three things they need to take care of. And there's different ways to approach that, right? And so the better you are with addressing these things, the better you'll be able to stack, right? You go work some overtime, boom, you can stack another a couple ounces. Make sense? So in my opinion, if you're a pure stacker, you should be always in the mindset of like, how much value can I preserve, right? 
how how cheap can I get this? What we'll always be looking for the deals. Go on to our page right now onto silverbarstacker.com and click on the on sale section, right? And and guess what? It just so happens that the things that we do the most recent price reductions are they they happen to pop up at the top of the page. So a lot of times you'll find deals that way just by browsing the websites like that and looking for their specials. Because usually when the specials are there, people there's every stacker is trying to preserve value and they're trying to get a deal, right? So you got to be there at the ready, right? And and preserve that value, and be very mindful about how much of these risky um, paper stocks and paper shares and paper money that you are trying to stack. Because this stuff, you know, it works until it doesn't. That's all I got to say. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,